Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome to part two of our Growing Together Let's Play. So I have just cheated the dad's handiness skill so that we can upgrade this treehouse as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and add a slide. Maybe I should move the swings. But I did notice as soon as I did that he got a pop-up asking me if I wanted to give him the perfectionist trait. And poor Trey here is still experiencing a midlife crisis. Poor guy. It looks like Grandpa's finally made it over. I see he bought his little suitcase, but he's just sort of standing at the door. Invite in. And we still need to try and teach Maya to sit up so that we can feed her in the high chair. How are you getting on with the slide there, Trey? Oh, Maya's learned to grab. Great. One thing I might do, seeing as the grandparents are here, is I might send... I might send Lucy and Trey on a little cinema date. If Trey can get done making the slide, then we'll go and watch a movie or something. Okay, perfect. Slide done. And it only took you until midnight. Okay, the grandparents can watch the kids. Parents are going on a date night. So we'll go to the library and then we'll just wander across the street. I don't think we've been to this part of the map before. Oh, you know what? I just noticed our house is right there. We could have just walked over without having to go to the library. Oh, well. So this is a rabbit hole just like The Sims 3. We will watch um, Missing Handlebars with Lucy. But I don't mind that. I'm quite happy with this being a rabbit hole. I've always thought that Sims games are good when they have like a good mix of both. That is one thing I think The Sims 4 does do quite well. They have actual lots that you can go into and they've got rabbit holes as well. Like I'm fine with rabbit hole movie theatres, I'm fine with rabbit hole ferris wheels and theme park rides. I feel like they've got a pretty good balance. I'm not sure why time isn't moving quickly though, considering they're both in there. I figured it should move just like it would if, um, if they were sleeping or if they'd gone on another rabbit hole. He's got a mood buff. Discovered thyself from discovering personality trait. Though through life experiences, Trey realized something new about himself. Good or bad, Trey is happy to have learned something new about his personality. Any mood buffs from the movie though? She's playful. All the lols from liking the movie. Lucy is still laughing after watching that movie. Hilarious from start to finish. Oh, and I guess Trey feels the same. Oh, great. Good for you guys. Well, let's go home and try and get some sleep before that infant screams the house down. Maybe um, everyone can go to bed, except you, Trey. We need you to add a sliding pole for mum. Also, what's the reason why I can't... Okay, I need an upgrade part for the bell and electronic and common upgrade part for the treehouse lights. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna get a basic computer and I'm gonna lock it for everyone except Trey. Aw, Maya's unlocked the blow raspberry milestone. That is so sweet. I still need her to sit up though. That baby must have quite a few milestones by now. Learn to grab, learn to reach, lifted head, rolled over to back. Learn to blow raspberry, learn to babble, learn to laugh, learn to coo. Oh, she's sitting, balancing herself. She's holding herself up, she's sitting up. Surely that means she can sit in a high chair now, surely. She's got roll over to tummy, my milestone. Oh, the kid's sleeping in the enclosure. Oh, that's so cute. Why don't you play pretend like a fairy tale castle? Oh, this is where we can really do with a costume chest, like in The Sims 3. Because we do have, like, princess dresses and little costumes. Did Grandpa sleep in there as well? I love the imagination animations, though. So sweet. Maybe when we have a sleepover, we'll play with one of our friends and see, because this looks like a very solo animation. I wonder if it changes if you're playing with another sim. I think probably not. Right, Trey, now you need to add lights and a bell. And maybe we will try, we'll slide down the treehouse slide and then we'll go down the pole as well. Don't worry, Ruby, I'm watching. She's getting ready. I can see her just at the tip there, come, ready, getting ready to come down. There she goes. Maybe slide down the treehouse pole. Oh, she's climbing back up the slide and then sliding down the pole. I didn't see anything above her head, though, that she was gaining any kind of um, physical skill. I'm going to assume she was. 
Well, it's Saturday. I think we should leave the infant at home with the parents and maybe just take the toddler. Uh, maybe Ruby as well. We'll take the toddler and the kid to the library because we haven't been to the library yet. So what have we got in here then? It looks like a little infant section where you can watch TV and put your infant on the play mat. Bathrooms, the main library, another one, another one of these things that you can't do anything with. And then upstairs, I like the little study sections. They're quite sweet. It's quite a colorful library. I love this section, the little child section. Oh, it reminds me of actual libraries. When my cousins were babies, I used to take them to the library all the time. And it was just like this, the normal grown-up section and then the little kiddies corner with all the little Where's Wally's books. Ah. Oh. You know what, I'm going to take a quick look around the area because I haven't really explored this part of the map much. So what do we have over here? Oh, nothing. Shelves, okay. A little walkway. This kind of reminds me of the one in um, Windenburg. We do have a food stand. What kind of food can we get here? A little bit of everything. A little mix of everything. A seating area. See, this would have been a great opportunity. Even just a rabbit hole to have turned one of these into like a little gelato shop or something. That way my Sims would have actually had reason to sit down. Although it looks like <laughs> it looks like there is only one table they could sit at. I don't know why they would, because there just isn't really anything to do here. I guess they could grab food and sit down there. I mean, it's a nice walking area. I just don't know when I would ever use it. Another one of these things in the middle. It's not like a sculpture or anything, because you can't view it. Oh, there's my house. What is this? Is this a, it meant to be like a pretend underground train station, I guess? It looks like there's a pier, like a little row of houses on the pier that you can't interact with. Yeah, it's all just set dressing. I'm kind of struggling to find anything else I can do in this area. So there's the library, a few residential lots, and a food truck in this whole area. Okay. Why don't we read to the children? Just enjoy the time we have away from the infant. Oh, did you decide not to do that? Why did you cross that off? I have definitely noticed since the update, uh, my sims are getting really glitchy. Like she's not reading anything. Her lips aren't moving. Her lips aren't moving. There's no speech bubble. I have had quite a few issues where sims just don't do what I asked them to do and they just stand there and just let time pass. So I guess we're not reading a story. Okay, now we are, finally, okay. I wonder if the kid has different interactions with her permissive mum. Like I wondered if maybe there was a new social menu that specifically related to the family dynamic, you know? What if she argues with her mum? Argue about house rules. Closely connected from close family dynamic. Ruby really cher cherishes her close family connections. Spending time with such close family member is always heartwarming. And I'll cry if I want to from permissive family dynamic. So I think she's close with her brother, but she has a permissive relationship with her mum. But I haven't really noticed, although granted I've only played with this pack for a few hours now, I haven't noticed much of a change in behaviour. Like the family dynamics only really seem to show up in the form of mood buffs. All right, well, everyone's getting the grouch on now, so let's just, um, let's just head home. One thing I would quite like to do is we will try for a baby with Trey, because I do at some point want to throw a baby shower, see what that's all about. I've thrown baby showers before in The Sims 4, but only with mods, so I'm, I kind of want to see if this is like a, a unique experience or if it's just a copy-paste job. Oh, Maya's finally unlocked the sit-up milestone. Oh great, her parents can put her in the high chair as soon as they get finished shagging. Okay, so I think let's try and build a good relationship with Grandma. Oh, she can tell Grandma that she's her favourite. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll tell Grandma she's our favourite. Even with that sour look on your face. You guys still woohooing or...? Oh, the granddad's reading the toddler a story. That is so sweet. I, yeah, I quite like that when guests come over, they kind of... They help out with the kids. Very sweet. Right, Lucy, what's the verdict? Are we having baby number four? Yes, seems we are. Congratulations. I think she's going to go share big news. Hey, Trey, you know that screaming infant we're always trying to get away from? Well, we're having another one. 
Family kiss, hug lovingly. Oh, physical intimacy. Yeah, we'll do a little kiss under physical Im Im intimacy. I don't really like how the grandparents have just left their luggage there. I mean, you could have put it away somewhere. I wonder if there are any new interactions. Help Maya try first baby food. Okay, no, it looks like it's basically the same that just came with the update. So nothing new there. Ah, Lucy has been feeling really cheerful lately. Yeah, we'll embrace the change. Of course we will. Dad's not going to be happy because he's a grumpy fuck, but he can't drag everyone down, Grandpa. I wonder if there's a way for me to end their stay early. Friday till Sunday. Council stay over? Will that just send them home? Yeah. Your stay over guests have returned home. Well, they fucking haven't because they're still there. I'm guessing they're going to leave now. Are they going to take their little suitcases with them? I hope so. I hope they're not just going to leave leave their stuff in my house. Huh. Okay, well, Grandpa's gone but left his luggage. And I guess Grandma's done the same. That's a bit annoying that they didn't take their stuff with them. Oh no, Maya dislikes mashed peas. Probably best to try something else next time. Oh, first food milestone unlocked. Okay, I think we should plan a sleepover. Not to be confused with stayover. Or maybe we should do the baby shower first. Gold level reward includes a new bassinet. Doesn't say anything about requirements though. It doesn't say she needs to be in a certain trimester. Okay, let's do the baby shower first and then we'll do a sleepover. So we will invite grandparents. We don't need a caterer. We don't need a mixologist. And we'll just do it at home. Okay, main goal, talk about the baby six times. I wonder what that falls under though, talk about the baby. Worry about baby development? That's talking about the baby. Oh, we can share Sansakoa secrets. Share big news. You know that clown painting over there at the rec center? Pretty sure it's haunted. No, not pretty sure, definitely sure. Guess baby's future career. Okay, so it looks like it's under small talk. Brag about the baby. Gush about the new baby. Oh, we can share baby pictures as well. Tell funny story. It looks like a lot of this is just social interactions. I'm pretty sure with the modded version that I played, there was like an option to open gifts, get people to feel the baby. Yeah, there aren't many interactions. Unless like from a guest perspective. Oh, buy a baby shower gift. Oh yeah, okay, let's get Chompy the monster. Is he actually gonna give it to her though? Give gift. Okay, so you can exchange gifts, that's pretty good. But that's from him, like as part of the household. No one's offered me a baby gift from outside of the household. Already we've got gold just from talking about baby stuff. We'll thank dad for coming, we'll tell him a funny story. Oh, she's got expecting parent above her head. It's quite nice to have a dedicated event for a baby shower, but this is a little bit bland. Like, there aren't any balloons or special... Well, I suppose actually there is this. Fire baby shower cannon. So we could do that. I think, to be honest, I've ruined my own experience because I've played with baby shower mods and they have everything, like banners, pile of presents that you can open. It's a sim from activating the cannon. You've let the general area know you're expecting a sim. <laughs> Alright, well, seeing as we already have gold, let's end it here and then unlock that baby bottle. Let's take a look at our reward. Oh, here it is. We've got a new rattle, a cute critter rattle, and a baby bliss bassinet. Well, I don't think Maya's going to be too happy, but she's going to have to share her room with the new baby. And we'll stick the rattles out. Okay, and we still have time for a sleepover. Okay, cool. The host shall be Ruby. Oh, wait, but we don't know Ruby's friend. Oh, okay, that's good. So we can invite Kylie, even though she's not a friend of Lucy's. Well, who else can we invite over? We have to invite two people, but we only have one friend. Ah, oh, Dad, you can stay over as well then. Okay, so this one looks a little bit more involved. Okay, so I am thinking, well, we need to have three Sims chatting at the same time. So I might form a group with Kylie and Grandpa. And then maybe we will go here together. We'll all go into the treehouse. Because we're, uh, we're meant to have a three-way convo. And I might get Lucy to maybe order a pizza. 
We'll go pepperoni. Ask guests to set up sleeping bags. Can we sleep on the decking? Oh no, never mind. Where are they going to put them? This is a bit weird, guys. Are they just going to put them on the ground? Are we going to sleep under the stars? Yeah, I guess so. There's Grandpa's sleeping bag. There's Kylie's sleeping bag. Where's your sleeping bag? Okay, go here together. We'll share a secret with Kylie. And we'll also share a secret with Grandpa. Grandpa, get involved. Get involved in the chat. Okay, great. Have Sims play games at the same time. Have Sims eating at the same time. Well, I think our pizza delivery should be here soon. Oh, there it is. Okay, Lucy, take the pizza. Thanks very much. And then I'm going to set up a few things outside because I think we're going to have a garden sleepover. We don't really have much space in the house. So we'll put a bench there for the pizza. Little, little stereo there for dancing. And then we also need to play games. Okay, sweet. Grab a slice together, everybody. I like the sleep up, the sleepover objectives. This is a lot more fun than the baby shower because they have to actually do things. They're not just doing social interactions. And then we'll put on backyard music. Hey, Grandpa, come on, get involved. We're all eating together, remember? They wouldn't all eat at the same time, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to try and do something manually with people that are already in my household, I guess. Oh, guys, it's not that hard. Just eat food together. I think we're going to run out of pizza by the time we actually get any of this done because they're just not playing ball. Why are you going all the way inside when your slumber party's over here? The bench is right there. Why are you doing that? Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to have to accept that I'm not going to be able to achieve that. That very, very simple, simple task I am not going to be able to achieve because Sims just will not do it. Okay, well then, let's try playing a game with Kylie and Jean-Marc. I'm just going to cross off all of the other ones because that's clearly not going to work. Let's see if we can get something else to work then, shall we? Sage advice on family from receiving life lesson. That seemed like some very good advice about family. It might just help Ruby in her life journey. Okay, will the game count? Will the game recognize that three Sims are playing at the same time? Yes. Okay, okay. So now if we dance together. Oh, it seemed to already count that. Okay, never mind. We can tell a story. Tell a story about Skull Island to Jean Marc and Kylie. There we go. This social event would be a lot more fun if the game worked. Right, come on, guys. Stop playing now. We're going to tell a story. You guys come in? You should do, because we're all in a group, remember? And I said so. I guess I'm just going to delete the table then, if that's the way you want to play it. If that's what you want to do, that's what we'll do, guys. Okay, finally, we're all gathering round while Ruby tells a story, a pirate tale, from the comfort of her sleeping bag. Didn't It doesn't seem to be ticking it off, though, even though she's telling the story. Now, I guess, is that broken as well, then? Well, I guess that's, I guess that is broken as well. What if we try again? What if we try from the other sleeping bag? Will it count it then? Well, she's telling the story. Oh, you might hear a bit of background noise because it's just decided to start hammering it down. Okay, I think we're just going to go to sleep. Yeah, it's raining really loudly here in Dallas. So if you hear any background noise, that's what that is. Oh, that's a shame. So I couldn't tick off eating at the same time and I couldn't tick off telling stories, even though I did both those things. She's getting some sleep as well. Use the time for bed interaction. I don't see a time for bed interaction. Maybe call, call her over. She doesn't really seem to be paying any attention. I don't think she really wants to come over. No, she's just sitting on the sofa, not listening to anything I'm asking her to do. Um, hmm. Where is the time for bed interaction? Aw, they can do a bracelet buddy fist pump. That's so sweet. Yeah, I do not see anywhere the option to say time for bed. Okay, so there's no interaction when I click on the sim. And then when I click on Kylie's sleeping bag, uh, it's just the option for her to sleep. So I, t I don't even know if I can tick off the get some sleep one either. I've been trying to send them to bed for like three sim hours. Huh. Well, I guess time for bed might also be a write-off. So we might just have to accept that we can't get any higher than silver on this one occasion. <laughs> but not from trying my best efforts. I even said for us to sit together and still she won't listen. I'm just going to delete the stereo as well. We have four hours left. I'm not seeing the option to send her to bed. 
So, thinking I might have to maybe give up on getting gold. I'm just checking every single, every single pie menu just in case. Just in case it happens to be somewhere hidden here. Either that or I'm missing something very obvious and I'm a complete idiot. So I guess we'll just end, we'll end the sleepover. At least we got silver. We earned 200 simoleons. Did we unlock anything? I think we should have got a toddler sleeping bag. Yeah, we unlocked a toddler sleeping bag. Aw, the kid feels confident though from hosting a party. Oh, look at that tree house. It's got a bell, lights, a slide. Why don't we have a little woohoo to celebrate, huh? We celebrate that tray. I've been waiting for my child to have a loose tooth, but she hasn't had one yet. She's almost halfway through her life. I think every child loses a tooth at some point in their life. So I don't know whether a wobbly tooth is still a few days away. And also Maya should be aging up to a toddler soon. If we look at her milestones, she has loads. Oh, she just got put toe in mouth. Gross motor ones, life ones, learn to blow a kiss. Oh, that's sweet. It shows me who she blew a kiss to. Loads of milestones. I hope these are expanded on and added over time. Somehow I don't think they will be, but that would be quite cool. Aw, Ruby's feeling sad. No attention left. Ruby's caregivers are so busy with her siblings, it feels like there's no attention left for her. That's not true. Your parents love their kids. That's why they're christening your little tree house. Oh, would you look at that? I wonder if there will be fireworks. Any fireworks going? Oh yeah, I thought so. I thought there would be fireworks. I've noticed because of the midlife crisis, Trey regularly stops what he's doing to contemplate life, running out of time. Fresh air, love affair. Looks like Lucy barked up the right tree. After being so daringly bare in the fresh outdoors air, woohooing in the great outdoors can really spruce up a sim's love life. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way, Lucy. I'm glad you feel fulfilled. I love this tree house. You could live in it. Well, actually, you probably couldn't put a toilet on there, but you could have like a little outhouse or something. I just like having something that adults and children can interact with at the same time. But you know what I might do? We still have a few things that we haven't experienced yet. We haven't really used the keepsake box. We haven't had a family reunion. And the kid hasn't lost her teeth. So I'm thinking what I might do is I might actually switch over to the grandparents' house. I'm going to have Ruby live with her grandparents for a bit. Because the parents, they're a bit overwhelmed. They haven't got time for the kid, really. She knows that. They've got a toddler who's two days away from a child. Oh, does he have grandparent candy in his inventory? Where do these things come from anyway? Where do grandparents even get these from? Are they bought in bulk somewhere? Maybe some mysteries are better left unsolved. Aw. Yeah, he's going to become a child in two days. Maya is a day away from becoming a toddler. And that baby is going to be born soon. So I think I'm going to let them name the baby and all that. So we're going to switch over to the grandparents' house and have Ruby move in with them. And hopefully, at some point, she'll lose a tooth. Okay, so Ruby has just moved in with her grandparents. This is her grandparents' house. They've got a little bedroom all made up for her. So she can feel a little bit more appreciated. Oh, I see she's got a treehouse mood buff. Treehouse adventures. Playtime is just more fun on a treehouse. Every moment is an adventure in a tree. Okay, I'm going to put the keepsake box here. Now, I don't know what I can actually put in it. I know that I can put um, teeth in there. Maybe a family photo we could put in there. Like if I took a little pic with... Oh, I guess I can't take one with the kid. Okay, if I took a pic with Jean-Marc, can I put that in the family keepsake box? Let's see. Also, she could probably put friendship bracelets in there as well, I bet. Designate... Designate keepsake box, and she can entrust the box. Ponder the meaning of family. Um, unconditional support. And then maybe the kid can make a little friendship bracelet for grandma. So can we put... Okay, yeah, so it's just like inventory. So I guess we can just put anything in there. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, you can entrust the keepsake box to a child. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. Entrust it to Ruby. And then Ruby can add a friendship bracelet in there. Are you guys going to do a cute little animation where you hand it over to her? Yeah, she is. Aww. Take good care of that now, Ruby. 
So now Lucy can ponder the meaning of family. So if she, um, but can she not add to it? Oh yeah, open and then add, oh, it can't be moved. What about her photos? Well, she, Lucy can add her photos. Can she add a homework book? Yeah, she can. <laughs> I actually think that's quite a good idea. When a child ages into a teenager, they can put their old grade school homework book in the keepsake box. I might have um, Jean-Marc serve dinner he can just do frank and beans, just something basic. Oh, I want a cool box from being overlooked. How come other people can be entrusted with the keepsake box, but not Jean-Marc? Life's so unfair. Oh, that is brilliant. She has a mood buff as well. Passing of the torch, sharing your family's keepsake box with the next generation is a special moment. Entrusted family, Ruby has been gifted the family's special keepsake box. Hopefully that's not too much responsibility for her. Right, I think, let's plan a social event. We'll do a family reunion. Ah, and that's how you unlock the collage photo frames from having a successful family reunion. Okay, well, Lucille can be the host. Actually, they'll, they could both be the host. Guests will have Lucy. She can't invite her son-in-law. Does she just not have a relationship with Trey? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and we will have it at home. Okay, so Frank, you can resume Frank and Beans. I don't know why so many of you are trying to cook at the same time. So we need to take 20 photos. So we'll take some photos of my little Lucy, little prego over there, and then we'll take a photo of the infant. Maybe we'll try and take a picture while Lucy's holding her. Oh, isn't that a lovely photo? Little filter. Oh, that is lovely, that is. And then maybe we'll take a photo of Kylie, her little friend as well. Oh, you might be missing her. She's already gone up the stairs. Oh, well, we can get her mid-action shot, can't we? And then perhaps we'll take a... Uh, we'll take a selfie. Beautiful. Maybe we'll try and get another action shot. What are you looking at there? Huh? What are you looking at? Get one of Jean-Marc. And then one of this little interaction here. The mopey look on the baby's face. Oh, Kylie's waiting to be invited in. Yeah, we'll invite her in. Of course we will. Maybe we'll get the two girls to take um, a photo together. There is some kind of cooking glitch going on here. Oh, okay, we'll just quickly take some selfies. Right, what is going on? Because we've got three meals being cooked at once. Jean-Marc, you need to clean up all of this clean the floor, and then resume the franken-beans. Why are you doing this to me? I'm gonna have to supervise you, micromanage you, to make sure you actually do as you're told. Okay, he's resuming the franken Is he? Oh yeah, okay, so it was basically done. So, call to meal, so that everyone can eat, and then we'll go use the toilet. We also have to talk about family, and thank for coming. Oh, discuss family lineage. Discuss future family plans. Discuss importance of family. Oh, I love it. All of them. Do them all. Oh, she looks cute there, standing there pregnant, holding her baby. Okay, and then Jean-Marc, you can go take a shit. I know you want one. And we will tell a story, maybe a funny story. And I think we also have to thank for coming. Aw, Jean-Marc has enjoyed spending time with family recently. It's become very important for him to bond with his family. Oh, yes, embrace the change. Of course we will. Uh-oh. Why has the camera pulled me over to you? What are you doing? Oh, I think that was just from embracing the change. Family bonds. Okay, good. I thought for a second that he was going to die or something. Okay, well, thank for coming. So basically, this event is more just to get some family photos. Right, it's getting late now. Everyone's going to bed. Perhaps we should thank them for coming and then send them on their way, huh? Hey, you didn't thank them for coming. Do as I say. Why don't any of you do as I say? These fucking sims. I know you want to go to bed, but the sooner you thank them for, for coming, the sooner they'll leave. Okay, you want to play it that way? Fine. I will just queue it up again and again and again. If that's what it takes, Jean-Marc. If that's what it takes. We'll share the photos. We'll share the pictures we just took. One of you holding the baby and one of your dad. Watching you bend over like a fucking creep. Well, I have to hug our daughter a few times. I'm pretty sure she's not going to have it. Oh, no, she's fine with it. She didn't like it when I shared photos. Okay, well, I think that was quite a successful family reunion. So let's end it here. Perhaps you should take your screaming babies home. And uh, we will get some sleep. Bye-bye, everybody. That's right. You should really get going. Yeah, you're right. Uh-oh, there's a monster under Lucy's bed, and she's making it everyone else's problem. Okay, let's just spray the monster under the bed. Come on, guys. Let's just get it done.
There we go. Back to sleep. I haven't really looked at this area very much. Let's see what we have. We have this pier here. Although there isn't really anything to do on it. Not even a rabbit hole. This seems pretty empty. I mean, I can see it's obviously like a residential neighborhood. There is a pond. Oh, there is a fishing spot there. We can't swim in the pond. Um, a little play set over here. I mean, there really isn't much to do around here. What about on this side? Anything? Another residential house. Is that anything? No, just decor, I guess. Huh, okay. Well, this is a bit of a pointless area. There isn't anything... Like, there's literally nothing here. So, I don't know if this is base game or if this is part of the pack. But, so, f Lucy's just come over and said, Since we're family, it'd be really nice if I could move in with you. What do you think? Uh, no. Not this time. You're heavily pregnant. You have a husband and two other children living at home. Don't make your problems my problems, Lucy. I mean, really, all I'm doing at this point is just waiting for this kid to lose a tooth. Oh, I just noticed we have a sentiment for Kylie closer after a fun party. And also Lucille and Lucy, supportive, showered with love from having a baby shower. How sweet is that? Oh, well, I can see she's still pregnant. Oh, finally. L Ruby has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Ruby can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Oh, Ruby, you gotta do it, girl. Pull out the loose tooth. Just do it. Get it done, girl. You can do it. Oh, she did it. Ruby has lost her loose tooth. She can now wait for a new tooth to appear or elect to fix a missing tooth. Can I put it under the pillow? Yeah, put the tooth under the pillow and sleep. So that will probably go down as a milestone, right? Lost first tooth. And it even has the address where she lost it. So she'll always know she lost it at her grandparents' house. And she had her first day of grade school. Childhood phase. She had a clingy phase. Oh, I love this. It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the tooth fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Does she like silly behavior? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, she does have a little tooth fairy certificate right there. <laughs> And she can reminisce about the time she lost her tooth. Right, um, Ruby, wake up. She got 66 simoleons. Bloody hell. That's a lot of money for a tooth. Come and reminisce about the tooth you just lost. Impressive, huh? Confident. Tooth fairy time. A gift from the tooth fairy can take the sting out of a lost tooth. Very nice. Now, I don't know where all the hiking trails are, or the walking trails, sorry. I think there's, I know there's one up here, but I don't know if they're all in this one area. Why are there so many werewolves in the rec center? Why? <laughs> oh, wait, no, they're not werewolves. They're just cowering in fear because of that werewolf. Ruby's gone to school. Good kid. Oh, and then we've got around the lake as well. Okay. Well, that's two walking trails I've just okay. found. That's right, Grandma, get your power walk on. Take in the flowers, enjoy the arboretum. It's nice to get out the house every now and again, isn't it? Well, on that note, I think I might end this video here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this pack, but I'm gonna save my, my full opinion for when I do my review video and then I have a few more hours to play with it. But I think I've experienced most of the key features. I'm disappointed that we haven't experienced burnout, which is a feature that comes with this pack. And also, we haven't been laid off from work. So I'm hoping... Her head looks really weird bobbing around like that. So I'm hoping with a few more hours of gameplay off camera, I might be able to at least experience those things. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.